Now I thought we'd have a little bit of a game. Why not? Because I can't fill it up anyway. So, let us up. I'm going to use the pump in its dual force mode to see how quickly this does it. And I've got an iPhone, set the, set the timer on it and then we'll have a laugh. Now this is the setup that I use. Let's bring that over near to the camera so you can see it. So it's the Sevi Law pump that I use for the awning. And this, if I just spin this up, has a limit of 15 PSI anyway, as a max, which is um, what I need for the sub. And it's a 12 volt job and plugs into this. Now, this just shows you how light things are these days. Um, I used to have um, one of the Clark big car battery things, you can imagine it was really heavy. This only needs like charging once or twice a year. I'll just use that, plug it into this, pump that bugger up and we'll see how long that takes. Okay, here we go. I'm sure Jess will move out of the way when she sees this. Come on, Jess. <laughs> oh, really? So we'll just undo that. That pops this open. Now it's not actually a rucksack, it's um it's just got flaps that fold over. Which is fine, I'll leave it on that. But the sub is actually in this. And now they're up there. Oh, it's got several. That's as I thought. There's a fin there, look, and there. So it does have three fins. So the picture's wrong. And that is the front. No, that's the back. And I'll put that down here. And then roll it. Elk wheel. Right, Jess. And it has got a GoPro holder. It's at the front. I have no doubt that that will play ball once I pump this up. So it says on there recommended pressure 15 psi. You're getting that muddy already? Yeah. What a surprise. So, what on the floor, what do you do? Put it in and turn it to lock? Yes you do. Turn to lock. So this has got a setting on the top. Yeah. Okay. So, just to see if it's working, now what I'll do is I'm going to get me phone. So, set to zero. I shall set it off here. We don't have to be spot on. There we go, we're off. So I'll just put that there. We'll start pumping, shall we? Maybe it should be the other way around. Okay. Up, in. And guess how many PSI it's saying it's raised? That would be none then. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh my god, I'm knackered.
Not there yet. 14. We made it. Right. Let's go and stop the timer. I don't mind saying I'm a bit damp, but that was eight minutes, 10 seconds. And just to show you, just under one bar, it's enough, about 14 beers either. God. So let's uh, unhook that. So what do we think with 14 PSI in it? That is, oh dear, that's rock hard. That's rock solid, that. Yeah, cool. And the GoPro mount is at the front, moulded in. So that's fine. It's not just GoPro, by the way. So that is a normal quarter inch screw, so it'll take most things. Right. Now we'll let it down again. I well, know, a bit boringless, but hey, why are we doing that? So we undo that stopper. And then it says in the manual you go gently. Well, that's not taking long to deflate, is it? I presume you just go and leave it for a minute or so. So you've been out and had your fun. I don't think you'd be doing much paddleboarding until until your heart rate and everything's gone down. So when oh, let me catch my breath. So when we let that go down completely flat, then I'll I'll roll it up to expel all the air, then put it back again, then we'll plug it pump in. Now. I'm going to have to take that anyway for the awning, so I would always have it. And I'm trying to think, if you had a deck chair and me sat next to it, it's not going to beat all that effort. I'm just going to go out and paddle and have some fun. Whew. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> and hold it back up. That's what you have to say in terms of rolling. It's not too bad actually. Fairly easy. That's it. And you're off. So that's 1407 because I forgot to uh, put the timer on. I'm expelling lots of energy walking around this. Some nice writing on the side. Aqua Spirit. 10 foot 8 by 30 by 6 inches. And we are um, filling out the front here, look. I have to say, this is a lot easier. So it took slightly longer and absolutely no effort whatsoever. And we could go out paddle boarding. Well, there we go. I've uh, taken the microphones and all that off, so oh, blimey. As you can see, that was a bit, bit damp. I'm thinking that um, I don't think I'll be getting the pump out yet. I think I'd rather just do it with those two. Otherwise you'll have no oomph to be able to go paddleboard and you'll be knackered. So you may have seen and heard that we have a bit of a leak problem. So when you open the sailor pump box, there are actually two cables. This one is the one I'm going to show you first, which is the one that connects to the awning. And as you can see, it has a totally different end for plugging straight into it. Compare that to 
the high pressure pump. Now I've changed this end because you can just about see a hole through that. That hole was actually slightly bigger on the actual end that, that actually came with the sailor tube. So I went to that famous auction place and just bought another one of those. Hacksaw the old one off, glued the new one on with a bit of tape and stuff as well to make sure it ain't going anywhere. And we'll try that. I reckon that that will now fix my hissing issue. And then we can see just how much time it does take. Okay, let's turn that on. So I found you do this end first. Put that in there and lock it. And the pump. Okay, lock it up, seal sealed. I'll hit start. And Stop on that, and that's under six minutes. Look, oh, that, these shoes are all right, not a lot of movements. So you're supposed to hop on you, yeah, that's very good. You tip it over then. What's it like to carry? Oh, that's not very heavy at all. That's quite light. So I like that. So, let's just spin it over. We can have a look. Some nice rotting on the other side. I don't know why. He's supposed to be underneath seeing this. Who knows? Well, let's go and get that fin. Here's the fin for it. I can see there's a screw hole down there. That's where that obviously goes in and some sort of rivety thing down there. Oh, there's a, that slides up, does it? Oh yes, it slides in. And then you just do that up, I presume. Oh no, that doesn't fit in there. Why are you supposed to put that through there? How does that fit on there? Hang on, maybe you undo that. Maybe you have to undo that and make it loose. be too loose. Oh, it's gonna be through what it is in. So you have to put it through the Put the back of it in first and slide it back and then put that in the right place. So what is that bit for then? Because that ain't coming off. And check it out. Oh, it's not out. The reason why it slides is because, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, there's all oh, the screw fell out. Yeah, I could see that screw being a bit of a mare, actually. Bit of a mare, he's lost it already. Oh my god, I've lost it. So I did find the screw. A little handy tip, because I couldn't find it in this grass, so I thought, hang on, let's just take the memory card out of the camera and then I can watch it back and see where the actual screw went when it fell out because it was recording at the time so that's what we did and so there we go so it's out 
and that's off as well. Now there is a cutout slot in here and the fin won't fit in unless those two sticky out lugs go through there first. So you push that through and they obviously then line up the hole with the screw at the top. And don't fit that thing on. I'm not sure. Really not sure. On their website they do have a little chat. I wonder, I wonder if they have a, there's no video on how to do this. So anyway, that's that bit done. Put that through there. And that the velcro is onto there. And that goes back over the top. And then that goes back over the top of that again. And that's it. That's all right. Cool. So just when I thought I was finished, no, I haven't. There's a couple of more things to fit. There's this kayak seat and I do have a GoPro, so I want to see how that fits. So here we go. Let's see if we can fit that. Obviously the GoPro will fit onto that. So this has got Presume you hold that up and you just click through and then down on that, keep it locked in position. Well, that was easy. Well, there we go. In terms of fitting this, it's not that difficult. There's obviously, the, these ones are already kind of preset, I'm guessing. Maybe I want to tighten these back ones up a bit. So, it's got a couple of straps at the back there that form like a little V. So that's attached to the and that's attached to the top. So that's that's a lot sturdier. What I have noticed on this one, on this side, it's got a couple of rings. Which are not on the other side. I wonder what they're for. We're there. I think the next stage is to take this out in the water and see what happens. So yeah, do some more research and find out where I can take this. And you never know, you might actually get to see him on the paddleboard because this is the only time you'll ever see me on it. Like, subscribe and hit the little bell.